WDTN, the station that's on your side. This is Two News at Noon with Breaking News. An early morning fire turns deadly. Officials say a man pulled from a burning home has died at a hospital. Crews remain in the 140 block of East Hillcrest in the North Riverdale neighborhood in Dayton. Megan O'Rourke is at the scene with these details. Marsha, right now, Dayton fire crews are still here on the scene. They're keeping a close eye on this blue house you see behind me. Officials say this morning's fire claimed not only the structure, but the life of one of the men who lived here. Screaming, who's in hell, Will? And then he heard him say, oh my God, and then that's the last thing I heard. I couldn't hear anything after that. Tom Doty lives next door to this Hillcrest Avenue home. He says he woke up Wednesday morning to the sound of an explosion, followed by cries for help. And the last thing I want to see, though, you know, I don't want to see stuff like that. So. Doty says he called 911 and tried to get inside the burning home, but the fury of flames forced him out. Luckily, help was on the way, and Dayton fire crews arrived on scene in minutes. We were actually able to get into the house, and uh, the other occupant uh, actually had come back and was pointing where his roommate stayed and was able to direct us to where we could find him. So when our crews got there, we were, in fact, able to get the, that person out of the building. Medics worked on the fire victim for several minutes before rushing him to Good Samaritan Hospital. Fire officials say his injuries are severe, so they asked for police assistance. And it's routine when we have a person uh, that's in critical condition from a fire, that, or if there is a fatality, if that would be the case, then uh, they're here to do an investigation. At the same time, fire officials will be conducting their own investigation, trying to figure out where the flame started and how. Now, again, a fire victim has since passed away. Officials are not yet releasing his name. They are working to contact family members. Now, of course, stay with 2 News. We'll have much more on this story coming up today starting at 5 o'clock. Reporting in Dayton, Megan O'Rourke, 2 News on your side.